Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, homebrew news, and much, much more. So today, we actually won't be talking about the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5, but instead, I'll be talking about the PlayStation 2. And more importantly, I wanted to talk about my experience using this BitFun X SD card adapter, otherwise known as the PS2 MX4 SIO, which allows you to run backup games on an SD card for your PlayStation 2. So I ordered this from AliExpress not too long ago, and it finally came in the mail. And so the reason that I decided to create a video here today was simply because there really isn't a lot of great information that's out there, especially if you're using this MX4 SIO. Now, I wanted to tell you how you could get this up and running completely from scratch, no real prerequisite knowledge is going to be required except for that you will need something such as a free McBoot in order to run ELF files or homebrew files for the PlayStation 2. And so I picked this adapter here which is obviously the one that you can kind of see the insides of the card itself and if I go ahead and switch over to this next image you can see what it looks like once you take it out of the package. Again, very basic. So up at the very top, that's obviously where you plug that into your PlayStation 2, a slim or a fat model. And then at the very bottom, that is where you insert your SD card. Taking a look here at the back and then a quick close up of the top of it. And then finally, there is what the SD card looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and let's head over to AliExpress and let's talk a little bit more about what they currently have to offer and what you're going to need in order to make sure that you're successful with this project. So this is actually the exact model that I picked up and yeah they run about $8.28 and they usually offer some sort of free shipping as this one is offering right here. Again it depends on where you live at as far as how much time it actually will take to get to you. You will see there's a number of different types of like colors uh, that are in here that you can pick from. And if we scroll down into this page, there is some information that we should spend a little bit more time talking about. Now, it says in here that not all SD or TF cards could be recognized. So please choose the card that's in their kit or you can use your own card. So personally, I did not buy their card that was in their kit. I'm actually using a Kingston card right now that works absolutely fantastic. But if you do want a card that does work 100%, then you can come over here and buy this one right here from MicroDrive. And I did go ahead and picked up the 64 gigabyte model, which was right around $5. Now, this one will work 100%, and this is also one of the things that they sell in their kit, but I have found at some times it is a little bit cheaper just going directly and doing a search for SD card and then finding it from there. Okay, so let's head back to the page. So it does state right here that the included FMCB this is Free McBoot, and if you're not aware of what Free McBoot is, Free McBoot allows your PlayStation 2 fat model or slim model to boot up into a state that it can run homebrew applications. Now, I have a video if you actually want to create your own Free McBoot card, or you can buy one. They're all over eBay and everything else, and you can get those for usually around 5 to $10. And so now that you know what Free McBoot is, it states here that with this package, that will only work in a PS2 FAT console. Now, the included Free McBoot card is what it was specifying here. So if you look, there is this option available, and then there is a, another option available that says for PS2 Slim consoles. And that's basically using this free McBoot card. 
And so I'm going to show you in just a moment where you can get the proper file that will work and you don't have to buy their free McBoot card. Back over to the page and we'll scroll back down again. It says it does not accept all PS2 games. Please consult the OPL game compatibility list down below. And so this is the compatibility list. You will see a gigantic spreadsheet. Now, this is a great list of what currently works. Does it boot? What type of mode that you may use? But for the most part, the games that I've tried, I really haven't had to make any additional adjustments in there so far. So keep in mind that if you do have a game that you're wondering about, you can always check out this compatibility list absolutely first. Now, as far as the AliExpress page goes, we can also see that it says specifications and underneath that, it says it is recommended to use the latest version, which is 1.20 beta. It says you can download it from this address. There is a lot of things that's wrong with this line here. The first one is, is that in order to find this version of OPL, I have never been able to find it. And I believe the only way you can get this version of OPL is to actually buy the free McBoot card with it on there. But even if you do that, you still are not going to get the ability to save your games. And it says you can download this from this address right here. And we'll open that up. And if you do come here and you download the very latest beta version, you still won't be able to save your games, even if you download this version. One of the reasons that I created this video is simply because I went down this rabbit hole and spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this to work properly. I wound up finding out that you really need to come to this random page on PSX Place, scroll down into this forum post, and then these are the actually the two files for OPL or Open PlayStation Loader that you would need to get. So 1627 is the release that is for fat PS2s. And then 1629 is the one for slim PlayStation 2s. And keep in mind that there is zero links whatsoever on the AliExpress site that links over to this page, mainly because this version of the MX4 SIO is a cloned or a ripped off version from the original developer. I'm not going to go into all of that, but keep in mind that this is a clone of the original. So if we head back over to PSX Place, I would recommend that you go ahead and you download either 1627 or 1629, and then just save that to a root of your USB device. And then once you do that, time to go ahead and take it over to the PlayStation 2. Okay, so we are over on our PlayStation 2. Again, I am already booting into Free McBoot. There is this application here called Launch Elf, which is what we'll be using today. So let's go ahead and Let's scroll down just a little bit here, and I'm going to go to Launch Elf. Okay, so at this point, hopefully you have your USB drive with the 1627 or 1629 files already added to it, inserted into your PlayStation 2. Let's go ahead and press Circle to go to the file browser, and then we're going to navigate down to Mass. And then we're going to press the Circle button, and right here is our two files that I just downloaded. So we have a 1627. Again, this was for PS2 Fat. And then 1629, which is for the slim models. So depending on which version of PlayStation 2 you're trying to run this on, you'll need to pick the one that's appropriate for your system. Since I am going to be running this on a slim device, I need to grab the 1629. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate down with the directional pad to 1629. And now I'm going to press X to mark. And now R1. 
and I'm going to select the option here with circle to copy it. And it does state up at the top, copy to the clipboard. Now we need to navigate back up. So we're gonna navigate to the dot dot and now back to MC0, which MC0 is just your memory card. And let's scroll down here to where it says boot. And here is where we're gonna to need to paste it. Now don't worry because I already have it installed on my card, but I'm again, I'm going to follow the same sort of instructions. So we need to press R1, and now we're gonna select paste with circle. And it takes just a moment, but eventually it will be copied over to the system. Okay, so now we have our ELF file for our system on the memory card. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and reboot the console and get back to the main menu of Free McBoot. Okay, now that Free McBoot is launched again, let's go ahead and let's scroll down to Free McBoot Configurator. We're going to hit X here. And now we need to scroll down to the option Configure OSD SYS Options and press X. And now we need to go down to Configure Item. And we basically are just looking for a blank spot to put 1629 on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to option number six and I'm going to press X and I'm just going to give this one the name 1629. And for the path here, go ahead and press X and we need to go to MC0 and then boot. And now we need to select 1629 and press X and now return. Make sure that you hit return again and then save CNF to MC0. Again, you should see up at the very top where it says saved MC0 and then the free MCB.CNF. At this point, you can go ahead and you can press exit. Your system should reboot. And now we're just gonna go to 1629 and press X here. And now what you see is the custom version of OPL. Now, one thing that may come to mind very quickly is, is that you may see USB games and be thinking, okay, well, I'm running that off of an SD card, and this is perfectly normal, at least for right now, and at least until OPL provides better support for these SD cards. Now, more than likely, yours won't look like this at the beginning. So press the start button to go to the menu and go to settings. And then if you scroll down to where it says USB device start mode, make sure that's set to auto. And then for default menu, put it on USB games. Make sure that you go down right here to where it says save changes and press X on that. Otherwise, you'll have to do this manually each and every time. So now press the circle button and there is our game. There is a couple of different options that you can play with in here. So if you press the triangle button here, it will take you over to options. So there is game settings. So information that's found in that document or that Google document that I showed just a minute ago, you could come in here and potentially plug in that information in order to get the game to run if you were having problems. There's obviously cheat settings, and then there is a ton of other types of menus and configuration that you can do. Once you're ready, you should be able just to press X, and then it will say loading configuration, and then finally the game should start. And so this is just Red Faction. And what I will do just to prove that the saving and loading works is that I will go ahead and load up a save game. This is a game that I've actually just recently been playing. So let's go to load game and let me pick one of my recent saves. So we'll go back to the abandoned mine. Okay, here we are. And by the way, if you haven't played this game, I would highly suggest that you go and you take a look at this amazing game. So the main thing that I wanted to let you all know is, is that I would highly recommend you use 
the files that I have mentioned for 1627 or 1629 in order to actually save your game. That's been a big problem point that a lot of people have had. So just to quickly recap, obviously you can buy the one from AliExpress as I did, but keep in mind if you want to actually save your game, you will need to use the file that's on PSX Place, at least at the time of this upload of this video. There has been no other way with any of the experimental versions or anything like that in order to save the games. I still am a bit on the fence whether or not I would continue to use this or my other method, which is using free HD boot, which is one of my favorite ways in order to load games on a PS2 fat machine using the network adapter and an IDE hard disk drive. So anyway, there's so much cool things that you can do with the PlayStation 2 right now. I hope that this adds to your gaming experience. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!